Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to Commute Talk. It's pretty dark here now. I guess I should just get used to this. Uh, so today, Fiki Car writes in asking about what operating system I'm using on my host machine and why am I using that one? And what do I think about Windows and Mac OS? And finally, if I couldn't use the OS that I am using, which one would I use instead? So thank you, Fiki Car for asking these questions. Um, I'm using Ubuntu at the moment on my host machine. It's Ubuntu 19.4. And I just choose Ubuntu because it was, it was easy to install. And I know a lot of people don't like to hear this, but Linux distributions are all basically the same. And there's a reason that if, if you look for, if you look at distribution reviews, then they most often tend to just focus on the installation process because that's really the only thing that's different. Like once you've installed a distribution, it's all the same. You're just like downloading packages from a repository and they all have their own repository, but they're all having the same packages. So um, it, it really doesn't matter which one you're using, uh, at least not to me. And what matters to me is I just want to have a text editor a terminal and a uh, web browser. And so I use the Mate or Mate or however you say that desktop environment uh, because it's simple and just gets out of my way. And uh, you know, it, it doesn't look really silly like these uh, recent GNOME and KDE versions. I, I can't stand looking at them, and that's just a personal thing, but I, I use something that is like acceptable to me. But uh, the whole reason that I'm using my computer lately, or the primary reason, is that I'm building a new operating system, right? So I don't care so much about what system I'm using it, I'm doing this on, because to me, my, my host machine right now is just a springboard um, that I use to build the next thing. And I know that I'm taking my sweet time and, and like uh, working on Serenity because I want it to be like I want the day when I move over to be a nice day when I have a good experience moving over. <laughs> um, so I want to want to make it real nice for myself in preparation for that. So, but I think I'm making pretty good pace. Um, but anyway, so I'm. I'm I'm just using it because it was easy to install and it doesn't matter. All distributions are the same in my opinion. And uh, then what do I think about Windows and Mac OS? So um, what do I think about Windows? It's like current day Windows is, I think it is a very, very sad shadow of its former self. Windows was an absolutely beautiful uh, thing in the world of software for many, many years. And um, Windows 2000, I guess, is where it peaked for me. And I know that's, that's not a controversial opinion. Um, a lot of people feel the same way. And I think that it's pretty clear to me that it was when they started catering to uh, consumers rather than uh, professional users. That's when they, um, you know, went adrift in a direction that I, I didn't agree with anymore. And I think Windows XP was definitely the first step in that direction with the, uh, the god-awful Luna theme and, and whatnot. Um, so Windows up until and including 2000, I, I just adore. Like, I love those systems, and I know them by heart, inside and out. I've been to every corner of, of the Windows 2000 GUI. Talked about it before, how much I, how much I liked it. Uh, but post-2000, uh, Windows is, they're not for me. Um, they are consumer software for consumers, and I don't know what to say about them. It's just, uh, you know, I'm sad that they went that direction with it, but 
maybe, maybe I mean, that's what they wanted to do, right? So who am I to, to question their choices? Anyway, um, I do not, I, I have Windows 10 at work and I think it is not a very good operating system for, for what it tries to be. Um, it is cluttered and extremely graphically inconsistent. Um, and it, I, it, you can really tell that it's made by a lot of people who do not communicate with each other. And it's, it's sad. Uh, it makes me sad to see what happened to it. Because I was the biggest fan of Microsoft as a kid. Um, just the biggest fan. And <laughs> I was a total fanboy. And I, when I grew up, I wanted to be like Bill Gates. You know, I, I read, like Bill Gates put out a book. What was it called? The Road Ahead. I think I read that when I was like 11 years old. And I thought it was the coolest, just the coolest guy ever. And I thought Microsoft was the coolest company. And I, I realize now that they were not cool. They were just really nerdy. <laughs> but... To me, that was cool, and um, I don't know. I guess they maybe they just died for me with 2000, and I don't really accept that what we have today is Microsoft. Um, but anyway, then you asked about macOS, which I would say that I think macOS is. Um, It's nice to use for uh, consumers, again. I think it's a better consumer system than Windows because there's a very clear vision in macOS compared to Windows. Uh, and you may not agree with that vision or like it, but at least like you can tell that, that it's a very tightly controlled ship and um, you don't get that impression from, from Microsoft Windows um, I don't like I've been it's been two years since I worked at Apple and I've stopped using Mac OS daily um, for like uh, any serious work I just do some browsing on it sometimes and um, I mean, actually, I, I, to be fair, I, sh I shouldn't say that I stopped using it daily because I do use it to do a little bit of light, uh, a little bit of video editing when I post videos. I, I put them in my Mac machine and uh, run them through uh, Final Cut Pro. So I guess I shouldn't say that I stopped using it. That's not fair. But I don't enjoy using it. Uh, it is, as a programmer, it is not pleasant to use Mac OS if you have uh, Linux or a BSD or some kind of um, more developer-oriented Linux or Unix environment in your life uh, because they are just so much uh, more ergonomic to work on. And just, uh, just this rapid response feeling that you have on Unix systems compared to, um, compared to the Mac, I don't know what it is. It's just, it's sluggish. And I, I don't, I don't want to sit down at the Mac if I can avoid it because everything is kind of sluggish and syrupy. And I don't want to sit down at the, my Windows machine at work because everything is, is different all the time and everything's crashy and weird. And um, my Ubuntu machine, you know, it, it has its flaws, but at least it's responsive and fast and it doesn't look all sad um, uh, well <laughs> it's not the most structured opinions but these are just my gut feelings I guess uh, and then you finally asked if I wasn't using if I were not using uh, Ubuntu what would I be using instead so the thing I want to be using is the serenity operating system so I'm working on that, uh, but I'm not going to switch over until I'm ready, right? Until I'm good and ready. So before that, I'm probably just going to stay on Ubuntu. But if you said, oh, you cannot use Ubuntu, 
then I would just choose any other distribution that's easy to install because as I was saying, it makes no difference. <laughs> uh, and, but if you took away Linux entirely, and I guess I would say if I, if I didn't have this specific goal in mind that I'm trying to build a new system and switch over to that, but rather I was picking a system that I would want to stay on forever, then, and Linux was not a choice, then I guess I, I would probably choose um, OpenBSD just because I, I really like the innovative, um, this in innovative spirit that they have in that project. And they're like small and scrappy and really clever. And they come up with these cool things and, and they very clearly love Unix. And I love Unix too, and, and I'm not, um, and they're clearly not corporate. Uh, and, you know, it just has, it has so much soul. Like OpenBSD as a project clearly has soul. And I wouldn't say that about any of the other big three at the moment. And the main reason that I am using Linux instead of OpenBSD to be honest, is because it was just easier to install. Um, it was the path of least resistance. But yeah, if I if I didn't want to build my own system and switch to that, then I would probably be using OpenBSD. But right now, I just want to have something that works so I can do my work and eventually get to switching over. So yeah, that's what I think. And I hope that I hope the, that answers the questions. Um, and these are just my personal opinions and my personal preferences, right? Although I, I really do firmly believe that all distributions are the same. And um, it's like distro hopping is a huge waste of time and energy. But people can just do whatever they want, you know? not the authority on someone else's life. So I hope you're happy with whatever you're doing. And however you use your computer, that's great for you. Anyways, um, I don't have much more to say about this subject, so I'm just going to say thank you for asking the question. And thanks, everyone, for hanging out with me on the commute. And I will see you next time. Bye.